I was in Belgium or somewhere like that. And then one lady came and she said that, oh, I'm, I cannot take it anymore. I'm at the end of it. I'm going to kill myself. I said, what's, what's happened? She said, I lost my boyfriend, I lost my job, I have no money, now it's the end of my life, I'm going to die. And I said, well, if you want to die, nobody can stop you. But why don't you go to India for a visit before you die? And please don't tell me you have no money because you, know, you don't need any money after you die. <laughs> Sometimes they go and then come back totally like a smile from here to here. She didn't go to India, she went to Japan. But when she came back, she was equally happy. And I said, what, what happened? She said, I nearly died. She was climbing some kind of a mountain there. And then she fell down and she couldn't get out. It was night and she was thinking that this is the end of my life. And at that time, she said, she forgot all those, those kind of things. No boyfriend, no job, and all these things were so small matter. And then she was only thinking that if I could just get out of this, it would be so nice, so happy, so joyful. <laughs> and then finally she, she got re rescued and then she came back and was totally happy. I think it's a lot is like that, where you see things, you know. Many times you think I'm in a very bad shape, you know, in a very bad situation. There are still worse situations. There are always kind of better situations. And there are always worse situations. When we are able to see this, you know, very clearly, then even if I'm in a very bad situation, it's not totally the worst, you know. One journalist was asking his always Dalai Lama, you always say that people have to be optimistic. In the case of Tibet, it's totally, you were not successful. You know, the situation in Tibet is as, as bad as ever and nothing good happened. And, you know, what is, what is optimistic there? You know, there's nothing <laughs> optimistic. And then His Holiness was saying, uh, giving this answer, and I thought it was very, very, a very, very great answer. He was saying that uh, it is true, you know, it's true that Tibet's uh, you know, case is very bad and probably it's the worst uh, you know, in the history of Tibet. And he was kind of laughing, his usual laugh, and was saying, that's why you know, there's nothing that you cannot improve. You know? It's so bad that there is nothing that you cannot improve. So you need, to, you need to focus on what can you do to improve, you know. And if you focus your mind on what can you do to improve, then you are already optimistic. I thought that was very, very good, you know, because, you know, when we are in a very bad situation, a deeply troubled situation, you know, if you just say, oh, it's so bad, it's finished, then you are kind of, lost. But if you say, what can I do now in this situation to make it even slightly better, I think you are more optimistic. That outlook kind of changes the perspective. Yeah?